Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I will be styling my tender headed daughter's hair. The video has been sped up so these are the products that I've used and before we get into it, I want you guys to see the real deal holy f- <laughs> That's what y'all don't see behind the music. She be stressing me out. So I already got her hair blow dried and I'm parting it into four quadrants. I use the Shine and Jam conditioning gel with a hold of 10 on her parts to make everything look crisp and neat and hold the hair in place when I braid. Started off with the heart. So I basically did a sideways three or a big lowercase m at the front center portion of her head. With both sections from the M part, I made a diagonal line going to the center part of the M. This is the best I can explain it, y'all. And then you're going to braid the top portion backwards and then shift the direction of your braiding to braid downward. That way it's going to give you a curve to look like it's making a heart. And I am going to do the exact same thing on both sides. Keep in mind that when you get to the bottom of the heart, leave a section of hair out because we are going to cross the hearts and overlap them to braid over each other. For this particular Yeah, you got that yummy, 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 yummy. I said, ooh, 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 I'm blinded by the lights. I'm so low, low, low. I said, I'm eating fast enough. I've been trying not to play. I wanted this hairstyle with a heart, but kept complaining the whole time. Since six months old, she's been getting her hair done. And she still at the full. So in the first quadrant, I'm just braiding up. And I decided that I was going to do braided pigtails. But I have no idea how I'm going to style it, y'all. I just go with the flow. And whatever happens, happens. And this is what's happening. So I'm braiding away from the center part that forms all the quadrants in her head. So in the top left quadrant, that's pigtail one. And in the top right quadrant, that's going to be pigtail two. On the verge of me finishing braiding the first quadrant, I realized that it was probably going to take too much of a toll on her for me to braid the back portion into pigtails. So then I decided that let's just do a half up, half down hairstyle because I was getting tired, y'all. I ain't have a lot of fight in me. Because at this point, y'all, she was winning. I was ready to let her go to school just like this. Okay, so I gathered all the braids and put them in a ponytail with a rubber band. And I proceeded to uh, do the back portion of her head. And we're just doing straight down cornrows for all of the back of her head. All eyes on me. This is America. Don't get you slipping. It's the L O C O R I O. What a ta 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 ta. Hold up. Non, non, c'est pas l'école qui m'a dicté mes codes. On m'a dicté mais le rap. Voilà de la boulette. Sortez les briquets, c'est trop tard. put some beads on the braids because I needed to see the vision so I can't wait till the end to just beat it all. Like I gotta see it come into fruition as I'm doing it. 
Then I got lazy and said, you know what? I don't even want to put no beads at the top portion. So I just wrapped the braids around into a bun. And I'm like, okay, no pigtails. You're going to do a bun and bows. full-time job right here <laughs> so I finished braiding and beating the back side of her head she wanted valentine colors so she has like red and the clear beads with the pink sprinkles and some pink metallic beads yeah make sure when you're beating the braids that you measure them so they can all lay even because sometimes I'll get carried away and they will all be different lengths so you don't want to have to go through and undo it and redo it again like what I'm doing right now now we only got 25% of her head left, y'all. If y'all still here, y'all might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now y'all gonna have y'all baby hair looking cute, honey. With this section, I just mirrored everything that I saw on the other side so it could be identical. Take this overboard now. I want you to feel that heat. And we can ride the book and share that heat of love. All right, so we done, but we got to add the finishing touches. She got to get her bow, some oil sheen, and some foam. Foam is good for those flyaways to make the hair look real neat and lay down flat. And I put her little wrap on, and we came back and did her baby hairs. And y'all, she did all that crying for what? Y'all, stay tuned so you can see her reaction at the end of the video. Like, I just don't even understand it because they be doing all that. Then you be having to pry them off the mirror when it's all done and over with. I swear, getting your hair done is every little black girl's rites of passage. I don't care what you say. Let me know in the comments what you think. Subscribe if you enjoyed this video and hit that notification bell so you could get some ding, ding, dong, ding. And my baby's so cute, y'all. Look at that girl. That's my baby. OMG, what a beautiful sight. It's you, it's me, your eyes delight. Baby, don't be scared, because I don't bite, but miss that like button. And bitch, I might. IJK, IJK, we gonna be okay. Stick around. I'm posting content on her every day. Bars.